one, scene one, Mr. White, and action! Oh, watch it. You know, my fingers off there. Thank you very much indeed. We've just had a bit of a party here, you know, to celebrate this, this 10 year anniversary, and it really is quite a major thing. Let's find out just exactly what it means and talk to two key players, I suppose you could say. Um, we've just been listening to a presentation, in fact, in the auditorium there, where we've, we've seen examples of some of the great films and TV productions that have been made here in Yorkshire. And Steve Abbott from uh, City of Film, it's fantastic, isn't it? This, why is it so important to be UNESCO City of Film? This is a great night. Ten years ago, we were very proud to tell everybody that we became the first UNESCO City of Film in the world. And we're ten years on. I believe we've achieved, if not exceeded, our expectations. We're having a 10th anniversary launch of a brand new program and new and ambitious projects, and I'm delighted to be part of it. We know, of course, that uh, the film industry brings in a lot of money to Yorkshire's economy, which is really, really important. But how has being City of Film really helped sell Bradford to the rest of the world? Well, Adrian can probably talk to that, but I would say straight away, one of the many things we did as City of Film is revive the film office. We brought productions here, which brings a spend to the local economy, it brings tourism later on, and it puts us well and truly in people's focus and on the map. But Adrian, perhaps... Would yeah, Adrian, that. it's nice to see you here as well, of course. Lovely One of the most you. important men in the British film industry, or well, that's how you've been I described. think according to my PR here. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, what does Bradford mean to the film industry, for people who don't live here in Yorkshire? Well, it's becoming more and more important to the UK film industry. Yorkshire is becoming a key critical element of the UK film industry. Irrespective of all the kind of political turmoil that's going on at the moment, the one thing that we mustn't forget is that the UK's film and television industry is booming. We have a huge production boom of, of major feature films, television series coming into the UK and Yorkshire is a real trailblazer and recipient of that and actually the UNESCO designation of a city of film really helped Bradford wave a big flag for the whole region and I think that's also influenced why people like Channel 4 have moved uh, are moving here and and it's really exciting for me someone who worked back here in this museum back in the 1980s to see the development and the growth and the progress and considering the fantastic young talent base as well the diverse young talent base of Bradford and Yorkshire that's crucial isn't it that's really important it's vital to our industry Channel 4 have just announced today that they're bringing their diverse um, project to, to Bradford, first time outside of London, their annual diversity conference, and that's really important. We were a key part in, with the Leeds region in bringing Channel 4 out of London. And it's important how that communities are reflected on what people see on the screen. It's, it's critical. We need young, diverse people. We need an inclusive industry. And our industry is booming, it's expanding. We need more skills, we need more young, talented people. And it's places like Bradford that really have the opportunity to provide those new talented filmmakers of the future. Well, it's great. We're having a party. That's the nice thing. I think the drinks are flowing. Shall we go and join them? Or maybe we'll go and watch a film. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> I bet he has a drink. Yeah, I'm sure he will. <laughs>